Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress JSON REST API tutorial for beginners and this is our part 17. In this video session guys, we are going to make our custom route for update post as well as delete post. And also if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to make the clear vision about this video session. In our previous video session guys we had discussed about that how can we make our custom route to create a post as well as list post and also if you have started this is your first video then I will tell you that we have covered so many things in this playlist okay we have seen about the WordPress JSON REST API in three different phases first phase we have completed about with JSON API in the second phase we have seen with the basic authentication plugin and now in the third section we are continuing with the custom route okay so in this video session guys we are going to make something called custom route for update post as well as delete post so just go to editor this is the functions.php file of our activated theme actually we are currently working on so in our last video sessions we had made two different routes to update a post as well as list the post so these are the two routes that we have registered okay so now we are going to register another route to update a post okay so just I am going to add and let's say that register rest route okay first of all I have to provide the namespace section so let's say that OWT slash v5 which we have made already okay and the next section in case of route let's say post okay because we are going to update posts okay but and also in the third parameter we need an array okay which basically contains the updated parameters which we will receive and update our post according to those parameters okay so first of all in this array section we are going to define our methods okay so this is our methods so just copy this method name I'm going to copy that paste it here and instead of creatable let's say editable okay which is basically provides us the methods called post put and patch okay on the behalf of editable we are going to use called post for update posts okay and in the next section we are going to add called callback this callback parameter is responsible to fire up when our this URL will be hit up on browser or by postman okay so let's say that OWT update post okay OWT update WP post okay this is the callback function we are going to call okay and now in the next parameter we are going to add called arguments that is args okay which basically a type of array which contains the parameters called title okay this is the post title it is an array and it is of type string required equal to true okay this is the thing that we need to add and in the second parameter so just copy this separate with comma and paste it here this is content so basically we are accepting two parameters from the user first is title and the second is content on the behalf of this updated data we will update the required post okay now we have made successfully the custom route to update the post and this section is responsible to provide the updated data but we want the ID of the post on the behalf of that ID we will update that post but right now we are not getting any ID from this URL as you can see this is the simple URL so how can we retrieve the ID of any post from this URL so just add slash and let's say that within this angular bracket let's say that ID okay this is the ID we are going to retrieve or fetch from the user response okay so now just wrap this ID within this small bracket and let's say that question mark capital P and now this is the regular expression that I am going to write to accept the integer value okay and just add plus here this is the regular expression guys that we have added to accept any of the integer value from the URL okay basically this is the parameter by the name of ID which we will receive in this callback function okay and this is the regular expression basically provides you the integer value 
okay and plus sign that integer should be one or more okay so just copy this function name and let's define above that so let's see the function this is OWT update post and now let's say that first of all we need to add the request class okay so let's say WP request WP request rest request okay this is the class that we need to attach by the help of this class we need to make an object called request and by the help of this request object we can iterate or receive these parameters called title content as well as id okay so now if i copy this request let's say that echo json encode basically it is a type of array let's say request and let's say get params okay so basically this will return all the parameters that we have uh, we are going to pass with this route okay so if I save this file go to postman and now just open up a new tab and let's say that so before running via our postman just refresh by adding wpjson to check our generated route okay so just copy this json object go to json editor online and now paste inside this editor just click on this icon and this icon so if i now refresh go to route section owt v5 post basically it contains the methods like get and post okay so instead of that if i go up this is the route that we have registered called owt slash v5 slash post and this is the post id that we are retrieving from the user okay so just click on that it contains the three different methods why because we have added called editable property editable provides the three different route request type methods called post put, put and patch okay so just i am going to click on endpoints basically it will provide the two arguments section as we can see and it is the title and the content section okay so if i go to the base links just click on that links copy this url go to postman and paste it here so just select the post type here and now we need to pass the two parameters inside this body section called title so let's see that this is my title okay and also add another parameter called content this is my content okay so basically we have supplied two parameters why we have supplied because we have defined the two parameters to be acceptable while calling this route these are title and the content okay so if I clicking on a hit button so just click on send now so this is post has been created okay why because the route actually has same structure as the create post called this is editable because it has also provided the post method and now in the second case if i go to this route it has the same structure but the main difference between these two routes is that this will provide an id okay so just go to postman and pass a different id called 43 okay let's say 45 if i click on send button so rest no route because url is not matching the and request method so let me check that why actually it is not registered so just go to editor because we have seen that we have all the methods actually we have registered by these types post push and delete okay so just go to editor and this is the route that we have registered this is our namespace this is the route okay we are accepting the id here and this is the argument section okay so if i go to a check again p i d and okay guys actually we have not written the exact regular expression to accept the id integer value just remove plus sign from here okay we have written the wrong value for the id section okay so if i save this file go to postman again click on send button so now as you can see that we ha are now getting all these values actually passed here okay so on the behalf of that id 45 if any post exists with this id then we need to update that post with these details okay so just go to editor 
and now inside this callback function inside this callback function if we go up then this parameter actually returns all the parameters that actually we have seen in the postman called id title and the contents so on the behalf of that id we are going to update this post with these updated details okay so let's say that update id okay which basically contains let's say get param get param and this is the id okay on the behalf of that id means updated id we are going to update and let's say that update title okay and let's see that request it is also get param and this is called title which we are receiving from the past value okay also we need to add with the content section so let's say update it's not update let's updated updated okay and this is the content section okay so now we are going to use a wordpress function to update our post that is called wp update post wp update post basically receives basically takes the parameters that we have written in the form of an array okay so let's say that args again and it is a type of array let's pass called id okay on the behalf of that id this function will update our post okay so just pass this update id because we want to update on the behalf of that id so just make copy of that and pass inside this id variable in the next thing that we need to do is that attach called post title okay we are going to update our post title with this updated title value so just make copy of that and paste here again we want to update our post content with this updated content values okay for now we have taken only two parameters you can actually make different different parameters while registering this route okay so now if i save this file so before saving this file just pass this argument section inside this function okay and let's say that is updated if i will check this variable by making if and else so let's say if is updated is greater than zero so let's say it greater than zero so let's say echo json encode let me pass an array and let's say that is status equal to one and the message should be something called post has been updated okay post has been updated so if i write this message go to our postman section so if i go to our dashboard section just click on post so this is the post that we have registered or created right now okay so if i click on edit button so this is id 62 okay so if i copy this id go to again our post section so this is the title that we have supplied for now okay so if i go to postman just pass 62 right here okay so let's say that this is my title updated okay this is my content updated these two values updated values guys that we have supplied with this id so while clicking on this send button wp update post function update this wordpress post update this wordpress post by these updated values on the behalf of that id okay so just click on send button so post has been updated if i go to wordpress setup refresh this page once more so, uh, so as we can see that the post has been updated okay so successfully guys we have registered or created our custom route to update post this is our custom route so this is the very basic code to take the parameters as well as for the route section so now if i go up so this is the code for the callback function which is basically responsible to update our post okay so let's go ahead and create another route to delete our post okay so let's say that register rest route okay and in this rest route let's pass the namespace section so let's say that owt slash v5 okay and route should be something called post in which we are going to receive or take the id on the behalf of that id we are going to delete that post okay so same plus sorry question mark capital p we are going to retrieve the id means post id and the regular expression to accept the integer value okay so let's say slash d 
okay and one or more integer value too so we need to add plus sign here okay so this is the very basic regular expression to attach or to get the id from the url okay and in the next section we need to add an array which basically take some of the parameters called methods and methods should be something called if i copy this thing paste it here and let's say that instead of this add a table let's say delete table okay which provides us the delete request type method okay and in the second parameter let's say that callback function which is basically responsible to run okay so let's say owt delete wp post okay so if i copy this function name just go up and let's define a function called function owt delete wp post and let's go ahead and define our wordpress post okay so inside this function let's first of all we need to accept this parameter we need to receive this parameter inside this function okay so let's say wp rest request okay we need to make an object called request by the help of this request object we are going to get the id value okay so let's say request get param okay inside this param we need to pass the key value that is id this is the key we are actually passing with this route okay and now we are going to use another wordpress function called wp delete post wp delete post receives or takes the id of the post id on the behalf of that id it will delete our post okay so let's wp delete post okay and also we need to pass this id inside this function so let's pass that just store this values is deleted inside a variable let me check that so copy just and let's if is deleted greater than zero means so let's echo json encode just make an array and let's say that inside this array status equal to one and the message called post has been deleted okay so successfully we have made another route to delete our post so if i go to postman just click on that and now instead of this post section first of all we need to change the request method type called delete okay and all structures should be same okay now the next parameter is we need to pass a called id so if i go to wordpress post section this is the post that we have created if i click on edit button so this is the id value 62 okay so if i pass this id value to this request called 62 if i click on that so just make send button so post has been deleted so if i go to again refresh that page or just go back refresh this page post has been gone and it the post has moved itself to the trash section as you can see so successfully we have deleted our wordpress post which we have created previously okay so successfully guys we had discussed all the required assets for creating our update post as well as delete custom route okay so if i make copy of this thing so just make copy of that go to editor let's open a new tab this is the route actually we have registered for our custom means update custom post okay so this is of type editable which basically by the help of this callback function we have updated our post according to this id okay so if i go again to editor just scroll up this is the callback function so if i make copy of that go to editor so this is the callback function we have written to update our post wp update post function is responsible to update our post of these updated datas on the behalf of that id okay so now if i go to editor again just scroll down this is the route that we have registered for our delete request type okay so if i click on again new tab this is the means custom route that we have registered to delete our post on the behalf of that id okay if i go back and to editor just scroll up if i copy this function this is the function that we have made with function called wordpress function called wp delete post basically it will delete the post according to this id what we have supplied to the url section okay so we have seen about these two things so i think guys we have completed our motto of this video session 
So if you have any query about this video session guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day.